it's amazing the results that come out of it when you're willing to think outside the box. And I think the CFE process is definitely thinking outside the box. We know children and families need and do best in a supportive community. We believe it takes a village to provide the greatest support for children. In Texas, we are working to build supportive communities and a village of committed people to work together to help children and families and ensure their voices are respected and heard. We call this Collaborative Family Engagement, or CFE. Thank you for answering the call to learn about CFE and joining us on the CFE team. CFE is not business as usual. It's a different approach to working with children and families with a focus on authentic family engagement. CFE started through funding from the Texas Legislature and is a joint effort between the State Child Welfare Agency and CASA. For child welfare professionals, collaborative family engagement is an enhanced way to work together as a team and allows us to ensure families are at the very center of our work. CFE is a process that strengthens collaboration between caseworkers, CASA advocates, attorneys, judges, and other professional stakeholders. CFE balances the traditional emphasis on completion of services with an increased emphasis on collaboration, family engagement, and building and strengthening a lifetime network of supportive connections around the child and family. We know that it can be a traumatic and very significant event for a child to be removed from their parents and placed into foster care. And while removals are often necessary to provide safety, removals may also have unintended consequences. Children can lose contact and be isolated from people, places, and a community that is familiar, known, and loved. We know connections and relationships are the foundational elements for healing and the single factor most closely associated with positive outcomes. CFE is a measurable solution to the loneliness and loss that children in out-of-home care may experience. CFE mitigates the unintended trauma and loss and offers support for children and families. One of the central goals of CFE is to increase the number of safe adults serving as a natural, lifelong support system for parents and children involved with CPS. To that end, CASA advocates and caseworkers trained in CFE Learn how to use connection and engagement tools that are creative and artistic to find and strengthen a network of support around the family. You might hear about CFE tools being done with your clients, such as genograms, connectedness maps, circles of trust, or mobility maps. The purpose of these tools is to help children and families share their stories and goals and identify their important and supportive relationships. Family meetings are another central component of CFE. These meetings bring together the family and their community with the child protection professionals in a holistic, structured, and supportive way for family-focused case planning. Led by a neutral facilitator trained in CFE, these meetings are designed to build trust while helping the family address their biggest unmet needs with support from their community. Focus is on how the family can heal and move forward while keeping the best interest of the child central to the discussions. These meetings help to ensure that there is a strong and sustainable community around the family long after systemic intervention ends. Potential family placements and supports are traditionally asked about at the beginning of each case. With CFE, family connections, not just placements, should be asked about at every single hearing and case planning meeting. To help ensure that the CFE process is moving forward, attorneys and judges can routinely ask if and how CFE has been used to support each child and their family. Judges can ask if the family is receiving CFE, what tools have been done, and if any family meetings have occurred. Attorneys are welcome to attend the family meeting alongside their client. Throughout the case process, judges and attorneys can ask what the CFE team has done to meet due diligence requirements of notifying immediate family members and can encourage the CFE team to look beyond the usual suspects of family engagement. Traditionally, family engagement work has been primarily the caseworker's responsibility. However, with CFE, CASA is taking on an increased role in this critical work because we understand that in order to advocate for a child's best interest, 
we need to do so in the context of their family and community. We call this whole child advocacy. Texas recognizes that our over 10,000 CASA volunteers are a great resource to help us find and meaningfully engage family and community members, therefore enhancing safety and belonging. Feedback has been overwhelmingly positive from parents and other adult support people about collaborative family engagement. However, CFE works best when parents and youth are open to working together with the CFE team and participating in CFE tools, family meetings, and collaborative case planning. One of the most powerful ways attorneys and judges can help CFE succeed is to encourage parents and youth to fully participate in the CFE process. We have created short videos similar to this one to help parents and youth understand collaborative family engagement and invite attorneys to watch these with their clients. There's a slogan that I like to use, it's called contempt prior to investigation. And I think the legal community should really look into the CFE process and recognize that it's, again, a non-adversarial process, that we are all here to serve the best interest of the child. And yes, there is a client to protect, but that client can still be protected reasonably while still working for the best interest of the child. And try it, see if it works. And if it's never been done in a case before, that doesn't mean it can't be done now. And if there's a youth that's still in care of CPS, that's the perfect time to do it. It's amazing the results that come out of it when you're willing to think outside the box. And I think the CFE process is definitely thinking outside the box. While our foster care system has improved in significant ways over the past decades, there is still often an underlying assumption, belief, and bias that families who become involved in the system lack the capacity to safely and reliably care for their own. Families of color, families with limited resources, and other unempowered communities have historically been the ones to suffer the most. Collaborative family engagement challenges these assumptions by holding that families have the ability and responsibility to be involved in the planning and decision-making for their loved one, if given a meaningful opportunity to do so. CFE team members are trained to use a connection and trauma-informed approach to their advocacy and casework, which helps see and honor the expertise within a family's own network. This helps to build trust, increase collaboration, and return personal agency and empowerment to children and families as we work together to find creative solutions and help families heal.